Welcome to Kari's Conscious Living. Are you ready to meditate with Kari? Make sure that you're laying down. You're trying to be still and quiet and peaceful. Let go of your day so far. This is your time to lay down and relax. Your time to be calm and quiet. Liz was 13. She was very unhappy. She'd been unhappy with her body for a long time, since she was eight years old. Liz happened to be sat on a bench in the park one day when an old man walked by and it looked as if at first he was going to keep walking but he didn't, he stopped and he sat next to her on the bench he had a long white beard he was wearing a grey suit he had a walking stick and a grey hat with bits of grey curly hair all around the parts of the hat where his hair was hanging out. He had a really soft, gentle face and his eyes were blue, as blue as the sky. He sat very quietly at first, next to Liz, and never said a word. And it seemed that both of them were in their own worlds, thinking their own thoughts, minding their own business. Not being together, but being together on the same bench. There was a plot of land in front of them on the bench with really green grass. It was green because it had been raining so much. It was a deep, rich green. And it made Liz think about the emerald stones that she loved so much that were green, green. In the grass, there were different flowers growing. Some of the flowers were tiny, white little daisies. Some of them were yellow buttercup flowers. And in the midst of all the tiny flowers, there was just one big, tall, violet flower growing all by itself. Liz was staring at the flower and at the same time the old man was staring at the flower too. The old man said, Now, isn't that a beautiful flower? Isn't it funny how that flower is the only flower that looks just like that, right there in front of us. Just one single flower, standing all on its own, looking very different from the white daisies and the yellow buttercups, don't you think? 
Liz stared at the violet flower and didn't really say anything. The old man said, I wonder if that flower likes being that flower. I wonder if it likes its petals and its stem and its leaves. Being so different from all the other flowers around, that is. What do you think? Liz finally spoke to the old man and said, I don't know. I don't think I'd like it if I was that flower different from everybody else. She was thinking about herself. Liz felt different from everybody else. She didn't feel like she fit in with everyone else. That was one of the reasons that she didn't like her body. She didn't like the way her body looked. She felt like it was too big. And she wanted to be small. Maybe like one of the daisies or the buttercups. Liz did harmful things. Sometimes she wouldn't eat properly and sometimes she would even make herself sick. She didn't do very well with food. Food was her enemy. She thought food was the thing that was making her big. Liz didn't realize that she was beautiful just the way she was. The old man spoke to Liz as if he knew exactly what she was thinking. He said, I wonder if that flower ever rejects the rain and stops itself from drinking just so it can look like the other flowers. I wonder if that beautiful, tall, violet flower ever stops accepting the sun so it doesn't grow anymore. I wonder. Do you think that violet flower wants to be so much like the daisies and the buttercups that it would go ahead and hurt itself like that? Because when a flower won't drink and a flower won't accept the sun, then there's only one thing for that flower. That flower will eventually wither away and become part of the earth and die. I wonder if that violet flower is that desperate to be just like a daisy and a buttercup. What do you think? He said to Liz. Liz said, well, when you put it like that, it does sound very extreme. When you really look at it, the violet flower is very beautiful, Liz said. It's tall and elegant and it stands out much more than the daisies and the buttercups. It's different, said Liz. And because it's different, it's unique. And because it's unique, it's the one thing that I keep looking at. I look at the daisies and I look at the buttercups, but my eyes keep getting drawn back to the tall violet flower. The old man said yes, 
I agree. Because the violet flower is so different, you want to look at it. Because the violet flower is the only thing there that's violet, it makes it seem special. It would be such a shame for the violet flower to not eat and drink and feed its wonderful stem and leaves and petals just because it wants to be a daisy or a buttercup. Because, you know, if it ate the sun and drank the rain and embraced all that life has to give it, all of the buttercups and all of the daisies, I bet would want to be just like the violet flower. Liz sat there quietly and smiled. She knew that the old man was right. She knew that hurting her body and not being friends with food was not a good idea. She was only hurting her light. She was dimming her light. That meant she was dimming her soul, her truth. She was stopping herself from being what she really was. She was stopping herself from being a beautiful violet flower in the midst of hundreds of daisies and buttercups. Liz got so lost in her thoughts that she didn't even notice the old man had gone. She was staring so intently at the flower there in front of her that she didn't even notice that the old man with the grey beard and the soft blue eyes had disappeared. It was like he was just there to tell her that she needed to love herself. She needed to embrace the fact that she was different, that she was tall. She needed to love her body and not hurt her body anymore. The old man told her everything that she needed to know. And from that day forward, Liz loved being the violet flower. And she never used food to hurt herself or try and change herself ever, ever again. She embraced who she was. The 